Hey, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize the Adobe interface and save it as a workspace. Now that we've got Premiere Pro open, let's talk about the Premiere Pro interface. First of all, it's what we call liquid. So if you put your cursor in between these panels here, you can scrub them and you can see one gets bigger while the other one gets smaller. So you're not going to have gaps, which is pretty cool. So it's a liquid interface awesomeness. The next thing that we're going to talk about is these things are called panels. So each one of these is a panel and um, yeah, you can close and open these different panels and we're going to play around with that. So let's say we click on metadata right here. You can, you, you'll see that there's these little lines. It's the panel control button. And if you click on it, you can see I, I can close it, undock it, and do other things with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that and you can see metadata is no longer there. It's it's gone. So what if I want it back? You can always go to the window menu and find all of those panels. So if I come down here to metadata, I click on it, voila, it's back. So that's how you open and close a panel. Now these panel layouts are in what we call workspaces. Right now, you can see on this top bar here, I am in the editing workspace, and then you can tell that because it's blue. If I click on assembly, boom, it'll change where all these different panels are. And so there's the brand new learning panel, which is pretty cool. And there's all these built-in tutorials that'll walk you step by step through how to learn Premiere Pro. There's the assembly workspace. I really like this when I'm building my rough cut and working on my assembly. Most of the time I'm spending my time here in the editing workspace. Um, we'll, we'll just go over each of these workspaces as we're working through this. But the first thing I want you to do is I want you to create your own workspace. We'll do this by starting in the editing workspace. So make sure, whoopsie, make sure that you've clicked on editing or if you have, probably have a, it probably is still in the editing workspace. If you're not seeing this uh, workspace bar, you can always go up to the window menu, workspaces and choose editing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify things because we're just starting. I think it might be easier if we got rid of all the things that we don't need and we're not going to use for a little while. So let's go here to the top left hand corner, click on the metadata panel and let's close it. Let's also close the audio mixer panel. Let's come down here. And if you don't see project, if you have a double headed arrow here, you can see there's a lot of these other panels that we're not going to need. So let's go to history and let's close that panel. Let's close our markers panel. Let's close on effects. Let's leave that open. Let's close our info panel. Let's close our libraries and we'll leave the media browser there because we're going to be using that on project two. So we've simplified the workspace. We've got our, our audio meters over here, our timeline, our tools, the effects, media browser and the project panel. So just three in this lower left hand corner. We have our source panel our source monitor, effect controls, and program monitor. So this is really a simplified kind of lean editing space. So let's save this now as our own personal special workspace or layout. Let's go to the window menu, workspaces, save as new workspace. That's it. We want a brand new workspace. We're going to go save as new workspace. We're going to give it a name. Let's bot simple. You can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it simple edit and I'm going to hit OK. Boom. There it is. So now you can actually manage these workspaces. Like let's say I don't want my library's workspace. You can just come up here and go edit workspaces and you can rearrange them. For example, here's the library's one. I'm going to throw that into the overflow. I'm going to not get rid of it. I just want to move it. Um, let's say I'm not going to be using the learning one. I can move that. And that just puts those into the overflow menu. What is the overflow menu? Well, it's just these double headed arrows. So here's the ones that I really like and I use a lot and then click here and I can still get to these other ones. I just, you know, they're kind of tucked away here. So that is workspaces. We'll, we'll play around with the workspaces a little bit more later when we work with the titles and when we work with our audio. But for now, I really like this simple editing workspace. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. 
Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.